Who would have prayed? You here? Luis Tomas Delgado. Come on out. There's nothing to be afraid of. Just want to talk to you about Todd Manning. Louis. My associate told me Louis would be here. Did you kill him too? I didn't kill Louis. But you made sure he couldn't meet me. Louis knows the truth, doesn't he? Did you kill Victor? I was getting too close, wasn't I? Seeing you and Louis in your office. It's like I said. He was just a business associate. You were doing business all right. You were paying him for his silence. And for the gun you gave him after you shot your brother. Last I'd heard, my dear mother Irene had killed Louie and dumped him in the Lentano River. Only there was counting money in your office. Yeah. Good luck proving that. That explains why they couldn't find a body or the gun. Oh, the gun, that's right. This gun? This is the gun we're talking about? ABC. This gun is registered to Dorian Lord. Excuse me, Senator Dorian Lord. Right, you took it from her safe. Yes, I did. And you told the police that it had never been fired. That ballistics could prove that you didn't shoot your brother. Only if that were true, you would have turned it in. What's wrong with you, Delgado? Wasn't it enough that you handed me over to Baker so that my lovely mother could torture me for eight years? I thought you felt bad about that. I did, and I do. Not bad enough to let this go. Look, I made a promise to my sister to find her husband's killer. It's not my fault. Okay, the trail let's just to stop. You, no, I'm going to stop you right there, okay? Why don't we stop pretending that this has anything to do with your sister and just call it what it is? You want me out of the way so that you can have Blair all to yourself. You know what? I just let me get this right. As long as you're around, Blair's yours for the taking. Is that the idea? She was my wife. We have children together. Right, she was your wife. Not anymore. She's moved on. Yeah, because you had me thrown in a cell for eight years. That's not exactly true, Todd. You and Blair were divorced before I helped you get out of town. And you have been back for months. I have a long to-do list. I've been very busy. I really don't need to take out the competition. If Blair wanted to be with you, God bless. I even stepped aside to let the lady make up her mind, and she did. She chose me. Oh, don't fly to yourself. She's just mad at me. Blair's mad at me a lot, except when she's not mad at me. Like when I saw her at the movie premiere and she kissed me. That's right. You were there. Let me tell you. It's like nothing had changed. Everything was still right there. We have a history. We have kids together. I'm not here to take your kids, Todd. You're not taking anything away from me. The only reason she slept with you is because she was mad at me. Don't bother denying it. I was there. I heard the whole thing. You broke into her house. Yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to talk to her. Oh, is that what you call it? Well, what do you call it when you break into somebody's house? Investigating? Don't even bother answering. It doesn't matter. After tonight, Tomas, you are officially off the case. There's no statute of limitations on murder, Todd. And given the notoriety of the victim, they're gonna work this case until they've got a suspect, and they've convicted him and put him behind bars. Well, they're just going to have to do all of that without you because you are officially off the case permanently. Still not going to save you, Todd. You can get rid of me. LPD will pick up where I left off. Yeah, I'm not so worried about that. I don't know why not. The Landview Police Department? <laughs> and Taya, come on, she's so convinced that I'm innocent that she's willing to represent me. Blair doesn't believe that I did it. Your lovely niece, Danielle, doesn't believe it. The only person seems to be a problem to me, Tomas, is you. So you shot Irene, you paid off Louie, now what? You're gonna shoot me? I can't let Blair or Taya or the kids think that I killed Victor. They, they for whatever reason, loved the guy. I mean, I couldn't stand him, but I don't know. If they thought I killed him, they'd probably be really mad at me. Not necessarily. With everything you've gone through, Todd, they might understand in time. Time while I rot in prison again? No, that, that's not going to happen. Now, I think you understand now 
what I'm willing to do to protect myself, what I'm willing to do to protect the people that love me. So what are you gonna do, you gonna shoot me? No, I'm not gonna shoot you. I, I don't even know why we're having this conversation. I didn't kill Victor. So, so what are we talking about here if you didn't kill Victor? Well, I thought we were chatting, you know, communicating. You seem very convinced that I killed Victor. You as much as admitted it. No, no, no. If I recall correctly, what we spoke of is the impact that it would have on the people that love me if they believed you. Okay, but why wouldn't the police, once they have the murder weapon, they've talked to Louis? Louis's long gone. And as for the gun, well, yeah, someone may have used this gun to kill Victor, but it wasn't me. All right, Todd. Then who? You told us. You shot Victor Lawrence.